Well, believe it or not, it's a great time to be an endodontist, and it's a great time to be a patient who needs a root canal. Uh, it, it's a very predictable method to save teeth, and it's gotten much better and more predictable since some of the new technology over the past two decades has come into play. Uh, at UIC, we have access to all that latest technology, and we use it every day. Uh, in the mid-90s to mid-2000s, the biggest single change in the field of endodontics was the introduction of the dental operating microscope. We were one of the first institutions, in fact, one of only three in the country, to have an endodontic microscopy teaching laboratory in the mid-90s. And in 1997, it became a standard for accreditation of endodontic specialty programs to teach at the competency level use of a dental microscope. And we're also using digital radiography, and we have been for almost 15 years. That decreases the radiation exposure to the patient and creates a, an image that can more easily be shared with other dentists and dental specialists as needed. Within the last 10 years, we've seen two more very significant changes. And that first is cone beam uh, computed tomography, CBCT, which developed out of medical CT scans. And specifically for dentistry, it's a much lower radiation dose, but it actually allows us to see the tooth, the jaw, and other structures in the mouth in three dimensions. So we can physically manipulate the tooth on the computer screen, and we know exactly what we're getting into it before we get into it. Probably the most exciting thing in endodontics right now is an interest in regenerative dentistry and regenerative endodontics. Uh, it's what people uh, in the lay press would call growing a tooth. We're not there yet, but we are able to regenerate some of the tissues inside of a tooth. And in the past, the only option was to remove those infected tissues from inside the tooth and the bacteria. Now we're able to do that and encourage new pulp-like tissue and dentin-like tissue, meaning tooth tissue, to grow inside a tooth. So that's probably the hottest area of research and clinical practice. We're not at the point where we can replace a tooth uh, with, a, with a regenerated tooth, but we're replacing parts of a tooth by regeneration.